<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dark Gables. There is a place high on the cliffs in Europe, a terrifying castle where horrible experiments are performed, unnatural experiments, a place known as Dark Gables. <laughs> Last week in Dark Gables, Dr. Drakenstein raised his previous wife from the dead as a creature which may have killed a blind man. Also, the doctor's brother-in-law is suspicious of the doctor's activities and has come for a visit. And Sylvia Keystone is also a new arrival to Dark Gables, seeking her missing sister. Sit back. Try to stay calm, try not to scream, and enjoy tonight's terrifying episode of Dark Gables! <laughs> Or Emily Drakenstein has passed out after being confronted by the creature. She is being spooned by that same creature as Andros enters. having one of your feats again. There was no creature. It was simply me. That's what you saw. You, Andros. It was you. It's one o'clock. <laughs> it's time for your medicine. Meanwhile, at the town of Dark Gables, the constable has brought Madame Vadoma and Griselda and is interrogating them about the dead blind man who was horribly mutilated, horribly and disfigured and mutilated in a horrible fashion. Your fingerprints were found all over his little hovel. That's right. 
What have you done to poor Victor? Don't even I think of it. Bitch, ladies, ladies, ladies. I don't even want to sit in the same room as her. Then go. I will be happy to not have you sit by me. Could we please be in separate caucuses? Listen. <laughs> We only have a one jail cell in Dark Gables. So you're both going to have to sit here and interview with me. All right? Let me tell you what happened. Right, you told me so far. You walk in, he was dead. And she walk in, he was dead. Yes, he was no, dead I walk in, I see her, and he was dead. She was right there. It was oh, we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Listen, I've got to get to the doctor, Drake. Drakenstein for my yearly exam, so I cannot talk too much longer. Dr. Drakenstein, huh? I hear a lot of strange things coming from his castle. <laughs> that is his wife. She's very loud. She got this high, chirpy voice. She gets chirp, 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 chirp so everywhere she goes. It's all really It's annoying. not his first wife. No. Not at all. No. I hear no. it. Like it is the oh, oh, ladies, he ladies, ladies. Please. He loved me more than he loved his first wife. Oh, oh, the, no, no, his father loved but, me. Yeah, not I was younger making one. a That's prince for life. No, oh, ladies, ladies, no. ladies. We have dead bodies to solve. <laughs> Dark Gables exists in Translavia, which is a place near many different European countries. Just something to keep in mind as you wonder at the many accents going forward. We now go to Dr. Drakenstein who is in his laboratory with his brother-in-law, Francis. They are talking about the doctor's experiments. I just don't understand. I'll put it in the simplest terms I can. I'm tired of marching around these fields of gobbledygook technical talk. It's quite simple, Francis. Really? And in fact, I want you to know, I want the world to know. I want you to travel back to the United States and tell everyone exactly what I'm up to. And? You see this bear carcass? Ah, yes. <laughs> They're all over the castle. I began my experiments with bears. Apparently, I've seen one in every room so far. Yes. In fact, what I'm doing is quite simple, and I won't even get into the bear experiment. I am bringing the dead back to life. <laughs> Stunned. I see. No, the bear was a totally different thing. Oh. Oh. Totally different thing. Oh. I was. Well, back as I was then. <laughs> I was building a bear virus. <laughs> We may experience some terrifying technical problems tonight. This is for the added terror that it causes. Just enjoy it. We now go to elsewhere in Castle Drakenstein, where Sylvia Keystone is snooping around looking for evidence of her sister when she bumps into Father Morningstar. Let's say in the library. Cursed town six months ago. 
Then what are we to do? Well, I don't know. I try to run away, but they keep sending me back. Run away? Yes. What type of man of God are you? <laughs> a failed man of God. No. Uh, gentle. gentle. Oh, okay, that's enough. in the laboratory as the creature arrives. The doctor's ex-wife brought back from the dead. No, I wasn't kidding. Yes, I bring the dead back to life. Of course, there's no evidence of it here. My experiment has left. Disappeared. In the... <laughs> I heard the bell ring. Yes, Andros, I see you're back. Yes, right here. Quickly, <laughs> close the atrium window. Francis, you see? Here. Oh, my God! I don't know if you can tell, but this woman was once dead. <laughs> Three attempts, <laughs> missing parts. I can't tell. Yes? Aren't you surprised? She's uh, amazing, isn't she? She's lovely. Uh, uh, hello! Look. Poopsock! Wait a minute. Uh, my beauty. Uh, I forgot to put part of her brain in. The part of the low... Talking. Toothpaste! Tube sock and toothpaste! She must be learning the teas. Yes. <laughs> Emily! Doctor! Yes. Emily? Emily? I, Emily! I have news to tell you. Yes. Emily. Leave the window alone, creature. Em Emily! Emily! Your first wife? Purely a coincidence. I happen to have access to her body. <laughs> I thought she fell off a cliff. Yes, she did fall off a cliff. It was mangled. Yes. Yeah. Brutally mangled. Yes. One the more. other Emily saw her. Well, really? Yes, they were spooning. Oh. Good. They're getting along. <laughs> we can't allow him to get out. He'll tell people at Pfizer about your experiment. I want him to tell people at Pfizer about my experiment. <laughs> Ever since they fired me, they are going to see what they are missing out on. Emily. 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 Yes. Emily? Yes. Her mind is compensating for its missing part. Yes? Emily. Yes. yes. You yes. are Emily. The mind is coming back, of course. This is... This is remarkable! Yes? It's unbelievable! Yes. You know, Doctor. Yes? 
<laughs> Pfizer doesn't have to know about this. <laughs> I don't really understand what you're referring to. <laughs> but I think it's good. <laughs> well, a proclivity for biting, crude language. Why, no, the primitive, primitive reptilian brain is filling in for the missing part. Odysseus, perhaps she's just hungry. Hungry, yes, but she shouldn't need to eat. That she wants to is troubling. I, I'm afraid this may not have been a successful experiment. No, don't give up. Let me watch after her. I'll make sure she's good and fed. Well, all right, I suppose so. I, I'll give it another 24 hours. And then, and then, if it's not successful, we, we have to just try again. Fruit we'll have strip. to just kill her and try again. Kill her? What? Kill her? Throw her away like so much garbage. No, no, kill her and then reanimate her. You've created a miracle. Yes. You can't just kill her. Well, I'll bring her back, though, you see. <laughs> really just like a reset button, kind of a reboot. Why don't you just feed her first? <laughs> she shouldn't need to eat, I told you. That hunger this means there's something terribly wrong with her. Maybe it's just emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe it's horribly terrifying. We now go to Emily, the living Emily who wasn't resuscitated, and the doctor's current wife. She's in the drawing room when Griselda arrives with the constable to talk about what happened. when he runs into the gypsy woman who's come to warn him. I'm 
sorry. I was on a thinking walk. Oh. Oh. Doctor. Gypsy woman. Yes, I needed to see you. Me? I think I'm coming down with the cold, and plus it's time for my yearly exam. I usually take my appointments at the office, but please sit down on this tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> So you've been feeling under the weather? Yes. So have I. No. Yes. What has you under the weather? Well, honey, you should ask me. I have been trying to convince myself I've done the right thing. Oh. Go on. <laughs> but I think I may have made a horrible mistake. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm afraid I've tried to rationalize my experiments as simply experiments, but there may be human feelings involved. Cross your leg. <laughs> your powers are impressive, Gypsy. Human experiments? Yes. Like most experiments, they are for humans. <laughs> it wouldn't be. <laughs> Excuse me, I have not eaten for a while. It wouldn't be that your horrible, horrible, vile house mistress Griselda has been around your experiments, has it? Well, she, as a matter of fact, she has. <gasps> I think that Griselda has gone wild and she is committing murder throughout the village. Well, if I can't trust your word, a gypsy woman, then whose can I? Odysseus, <laughs> my powers are back. The powers that I had when I was your father's lover. They are back! <laughs> uh, my father never spoke of your unworldly powers. He did speak of other powers once when he was drunk. <laughs> he could not resist such a beautiful woman. Yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> but you must lock up Griselda for good. Griselda. She yes. must go to jail. Jail, yes. She's committing murders. She cannot be trusted. And who next? Who? Perhaps your lovely new wife. No, not my lovely new wife. <laughs> Why, I'll lock her up. I'll show that Griselda. <laughs> Luckily, my castle has a private jail. Yes. Yes, lock her up good. Well. She's dangerous! Yes, she's dangerous! My horrible experiment gone awry isn't the real problem here at all. <laughs> Francis has left the laboratory and is going back to his room when he runs into the constable. Because I keep finding dead bodies. 
and it's not good for tourism. You know, you don't want to come to a place where there's lots of dead bodies. Right, because there's so much tourism and dark gables. Well, you're here. <laughs> I'm visiting family. Well, that's a kind of tourism. It's just a very unpleasant guy. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Constable. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What really is it in for you? <laughs> I see you speak Transylvania. <laughs> what really is it in for me? Well, I learned a lot when I was in Connecticut. And I could tell by your accent that you knew what I meant. Yeah, of course I did. You know, I'm a simple town constable, you know? I just have to keep the peace and also get a piece, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? What and how much do you need to leave this castle alone? I am offended, sir, that you would try to bribe me, because that's not what I was talking about. Well, I'm offended that you haven't given me an amount! <laughs> It's pretty high. Of course, I could make lots of trouble for you, Merryweathers and Drakensteins. Lots of trouble. <laughs> like simple constable of Dark Gables? I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll keep searching and see what I find, Val Capucci. No, I must rest, so leave. What? Get out of my keepers! All right, I'm leaving. No matter what you say, I'm going! How dare you, That's sir! That's the closet! <laughs> I got my eye on you. <laughs> we return to the father and Sylvia Keystone, who are looking around as Emily discovers them snooping about her castle. is being taken care of by Andros. Look, Emily, your wedding album. See? Yes, that's you. So beautiful, in a white dress. And that's me. I'm wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> Emily. 
Emily. Emily? Emily, yes. Her name is Emily, Emily too. Emily. <laughs> Emily. Do you know who you are? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Be nice. Do you remember? Remember, this was your castle. Here, look, I have a mirror. Take it before it falls. <laughs> Father died 
a skiing accident. I think he was cursed by a gypsy. What? Yes. We didn't want to tell you because that's so disturbing. You know, skiing is very common. People die from skiing all the time. <laughs> People do not die from gypsy curses very often. So you're saying it probably was just an accident? No, I'm saying it was a gypsy curse. <laughs> very confusing. I think she has cursed you. Me? No, I, I would know if I was cursed. I would simply incantate a certain phrase, and it would be obvious that it would just have to say, Innocuous Nemos Leandos. Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! I must have said that wrong. Ow! Oh, I can't possibly. Wait a minute. Occam's razor. What? Occam's razor. Uh, I don't have a razor. Fetch it! I have a knife. No. Uh -huh. Dear. Oh. What? Why do you have a knife? You're a betrayer. You're going into the private jail. But I found it on the floor and I just picked it off. Why would you keep one in your bosom? Because I don't have any pockets. <laughs> Francis is finally retired for the night when the gypsy woman comes into his room and crawls into bed with him.
constable is looking around in dark cables when he runs into the creature. And who's Donald? Find out next week in the next terrifying episode of Dark Gables! <laughs> 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 